We've installed 10 different natural disasters in Minecraft, and I have to see if I can survive all of them. This is my blank canvas right here, and I have five minutes to build my first base to see if it can survive a very baby tsunami. Timer starts now. Okay, so uh, in the previous video, a lot of you guys gave me some really good ideas for different blocks that I can use, and I'm going to make a really creative base here. This is going to be extremely questionable. This would not be a realistic tsunami bunker, but I'm going for something more extravagant than anything. Okay, so we're going to have walls of glass because I want, I want to see what's going on, obviously, and then we're going to have a wall of cobblestone followed by a layer of wood. Wow, this is really tiny. Oh my God. All right, so we've got this so far. Now we need to make a door here. Um, Let's see what what would be we're probably going to want to go for a more reinforced door i know previously we did use iron doors now the first layer could probably be an iron door however i want to have something a little bit more protected okay so this is my reinforced outside door right here is a lever which you could pull it and uh, two pistons will retract and voila you have a piston door now the issue with this is this is a tsunami base and electrical doesn't sound like the most safest thing to have inside of a base like this so um i'm gonna add a bunch of layers here just to just to ensure everything is like really reinforced i've got to say this looks really good i got one or two more things to do and then round one is here this is what we've got we have a very basic farm here this is only going to be able to supply the bare minimum amount of food that's going to keep me alive because as you know i mean i eat a lot of food okay let's be honest we got a bed crafting table a chest here our redstone door and uh well that's pretty much it let's see if we can survive the first wave of the tsunami I'm going to be a daredevil. I'm going to hang outside and wait for the tsunami to come. I don't even know where it's going to spawn from. Uh-oh, tornado event. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Get me inside. Get me inside. Oh, my God. That was way too close for comfort. Okay, so thankfully, with my redstone door here, I can literally see... Bro, look at that tornado. Oh, my God. Uh, 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 hey, hey, Houston, I think it's kind of coming towards me respectfully. It's respectfully trying to destroy my base, but it's uh, honestly doing a really bad job, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, my God. Look at all that water. Bro, I'm literally getting... I'm literally getting capsized in water. Okay, it looks like our redstone is untouched here, which is great. Electricity plus water is not a good mix if, you have, if you've ever learned anything from Pokemon. <clears throat> okay, this actually looks really good. We literally seem untouched. There's some water there. There's some water here. We literally seem untouched. This is actually great. Wow, I'm doing way better than I did the last time. Round number one is now complete. Let's assess the damage and then make our base even better for round number two, which boy, oh boy, is going to be a whole lot worse. All right, so this is our base here. It seems like uh, only a couple of grass blocks got thrown around on top of the base, but over Overall, dude, this tsunami, bro. Chase says, dude, you might as well have taken the entire Atlantic Ocean and just plopped it in the middle of our continent, dude. This is so much water. Oh, my God. So, of course, in a moment like this, it would probably make the most sense to make an underground base. However, I don't want an underground base. I must make a base that I can see what's going on from... I want to make a tower base. Oh, my God. Our tower is actually looking sweet so far. So, I built our tower pretty much leveled with this current tsunami. Now, I do project it's probably going to engulf our tower and it will be underwater so we're gonna have to make sure this is prepped i've actually got a really good anti-tsunami system here what happens when you mix water and lava everybody we already know what happens i'm thinking right if my base gets completely surrounded by water i could release lava and in theory be able to turn the water into blocks and not and not destroy my entire base okay dude this is actually really freaking good i actually i'm loving with the way this is looking so far all right time is up it is officially time for round number two i think i'm gonna stay posted up inside of my tower here it's probably going to be the best spot to stay at. Oh, God. Okay, Mogi, go ahead. Whip up the most brutal tsunami storm that you can even imagine. Oh, God. Okay, we're prepped. We got lava. We got blocks. We got everything. I don't exactly have food, but we do have some crops here. Just in case I do get hungry, which is probably more common than ever. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, real quick. Before this round starts, everybody, what would you guys add to your tsunami safe houses? Would you add an entire wall of anti-tsunami beacons? Like, what would you add to make your base even more strong? The best comment is going to get pinned in this video. So, I want to see what y'all are cooking up respectfully. All right, Felicia, bring this on, baby. I'm ready for this one. Oh, my God, dude. Those trees just got swallowed up. Oh, my God. Wait, an earthquake. Oh, God. Thank goodness for this roof. Get in the water. Get in the water. You know they say to go sit in a bathtub? Well, I, I don't exactly have a bathtub. Okay, wait. If I post up in this corner. Okay, I should be good here. I should be good in this corner. Okay. See, that earthquake was baby food. Uh-oh, the, the tsunami's just starting. I almost said tsunami. What the, what the heck is that? Oh, God, bro. That's freaking massive. Yo, look at that. Wait. Yo, look at that. Oh, my God. It's freaking massive. Yo, this is actually terrifying. Wait, yo, ready? Whoop. Give me blocks. Oh, God. Go, go, go. Make blocks. Stop this tsunami right now. Dude, if this actually works, <laughs> I'm seriously 3,000 IQ, bro. I make creepers like stupid. 
Oh my god, I can't see what's going on. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. It's either gonna be really, really good or really, really bad. I'm still getting pulled by this earthquake. This is massively terrifying. Okay, okay, let's pull the levers. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yo, what is happening? Oh god. Go, pull the switch, pull the switch. Oh, I think it's done, I think it's done. Let's assess the damage real quick and see just how our base is done. Okay, wow, I've gotta say this whole lava ideal is actually working out incredibly. Look at this. Now, the tsunami, on the other hand, has wiped out literally a dozen chunks surrounding my entire safe house. Now, the bottom of our base, oh, God, it's completely detached. Oh my God. Thank God I didn't go down here. Bro, look at this. There's literally a gaping hole all the way to the void, bro. I am so lucky I did not stay down there. I would have died. That would have ruined everything for me. Wow, I thought my base was holding up a lot better than that one, but I must say my tower is uh, the only thing standing at the moment. I've got an additional five minutes to reinforce this base. The final round is going to be the most terrifying round of them all. This is every single natural disaster combined plus the world's biggest tsunami. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. I know what you guys are already saying, Shark. You just need to go completely blatant here and use and use like obsidian or something. And guess what? If you were saying that through the TV or your phone, you're right. <laughs> that's exactly what i'm doing i would use bedrock but then again um oh wow yo this actually looks sick bro oh my god that looks so cool yo let's freaking go dude okay so we've got okay so now we have this obsidian box here now i need to be able to see what's going on obviously so we're gonna have to reinforce with some glass we're gonna need almost bulletproof glass even though there's no bullets coming at us but you know just in case oh my god bro this actually looks so sick okay so this is our reinforced portion of our base here i also added some glass right here so we can see down and see what's going on down here however is this going to survive i don't know so we're gonna have to have some sort of pressurized door system here that in case we have to escape we can do so now i'm gonna layer this in lots of obsidian because this should be the last thing that gets destroyed if we happen to have to oh god okay okay here we go we're gonna have a little plank here we have to have this all surrounded all of it there we go just like that give myself some elytra wings so i can actually fly and voila we are ready wait no not not yet there it is the second you step through this door there's no going back there's no pressure plate that is going to allow you to come back bogey bring up the final round and make this one so terrifying i literally throw up every no that that sounds really unsettling i don't want to throw up just make it crazy two one oh god oh god uh a d hello oh what is this yo our base has been penetrated inside of oh my god dude i did not prep for this oh what is this what is this wait it's a water geezer sinkhole event oh my god dude no how does it penetrate through freaking obsidian like that dude i was not ready for that at all okay okay hug the corners right hug the corners stay close I'm kind of getting pulled, it looks like. Oh, my God, dude. I can literally fly. I'm freaking God at this point. Bro, oh, my God. What's even happening? Okay, so we have a water geezer. Cave-in event. Oh, my God, a cave-in? We haven't even seen the tsunami yet, man. Okay, thankfully, our plank is still good. So, in case we got to walk, walk aboard, we can. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see. Down here is... Well, it's destroyed. There is no going down there anymore. Uh-oh. Why did my game freeze? <laughs> That's not good when the game freezes, guys. Just saying. Oh, well, my game is frozen. This is a great time to remind you guys. Hey, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as we're trying to hit 5 million by summertime. The only way it's possible is with your help. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Dude, I'm taking damage. What am I dying from? What am I dying from? No. Experience kinetic energy? What kind of scientist is this? I ain't leaving. We are not done. The captain does not go overboard without the ship. I'm not leaving this place. I am more dedicated to this base than I've been ever dedicated to. Oh, my God. Bro, I'm literally just being thrown in this corner like a freaking baton like a freaking ping pong ball in a freaking table i don't even know what that reference means oh my god dude that's a whole freaking planet of water here they just grabbed the atlantic ocean and just yeeted it right on me yeet us get out of here oh god dude i'm trying to get to the plank please get me to the plank it's pressurized oh another water geezer are you freaking kidding oh my god i've been pushed i've been pushed out guys we are overboard oh dude this is so bad dude what in the world i i'm flying upside down who <laughs> would have thought <laughs> Yo, what is happening with my player? Yeah, help me. Help me. Mama, no. I don't want to go to space today. Um, guys, I, I can't even see the base anymore. I was forcefully removed as the captain of my ship. Um, uh-oh. What am I at? I'm at Y700. Wow, this is, this is incredible. This is... Yo, why? Why is this happening to me? 
What did I do to deserve this? Well, I mean, I guess I kind of signed up for it. Come on. Can I drop? Let me drop. Let me drop. Let me drop. Let me drop. I still can't drop. Oh my gosh. If it wasn't for kinetic energy, I would still be alive. Blame the kinetic energy. Gosh dang it, kinetic. Oh, the tsunami is huge. I just want to see my base. My, my poor tsunami base. Well, I think this is concluded, everybody. Do not, do not hire me to build you a secret bunker in case there's an apocalypse. Sorry. Click right here to watch some more videos from me. I actually made another video just like this one. I'm sure you will love it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love. Peace and love. And we'll see you there. Bye-bye.